Hey guys, Sean from Maker Tree 3D here. Welcome to the Maker Tree. Hey guys, what's up? It's Lunchbox Hellrod. As uh, you can, after my uh, my other 3D printing video, you'd see in the comments that I'd gotten a message from Maker Tree 3D. I told me to come by and stop by. He had a few toys, and this is one of them. It's going to hold up to 12 build plates. Uh, the uh, tray over here is going to hold all the extra plates while the one that's printing is printing. Uh, once the, the batch, the first batch is done, it will push this build plate out by using the next one in line to press it out and it will push it out the side doors over here on the left. Once uh, it's got that new plate in, it will print whatever's in line for the second build plate, whether it's the same model again or you can have a whole separate batch of uh, model files on that other build plate. So without the uh, touchscreen being enabled just yet because they're still working on the software, you got the side compartment where you can hold up to uh, not just a single kilogram but a full two, two kilogram spools. Uh, here's one on the side just to give a kind oh, of Just for uh, size people? That's my hand. That's a, that's a two, kilogram, two kilogram spool. That's printing for days. And you really have to have something like that. When it comes to a printer that's going to print up to 10, 11, or even 12 uh, build plates, you're going to need uh, a lot that of That much filament. filament. Yeah. Uh, so with that said, at the end of this year, this will be available, but it's going to be available in the single extruder version, and they do plan a dual extruder version of this coming out uh, probably sometime first quarter of 2019. Yeah, so now with the uh, UP300, uh, with a slightly bigger build volume of the 8.7 by 10 by 8.8, .8, or was it 8.9? 8.7. 8.7? 8.7 by 8.8. .8. Oh, okay. So with a slightly bigger build uh, build chamber, tighter area inside to retain your heat for ABS prints uh, really well. Uh, this is the beta plates. The new plates will actually have a cutout on this side as well, uh, the final versions, because you can flip over either one of these and have glass on the other side. Uh, much like the X5, this also has the two-stage uh, filtration in here. You're going to have one, the uh, white HEPA filter, and then you're going to have the white, uh, I'm sorry, the black uh, charcoal activated filter. So again, the uh, three different tool heads. It's got the ABS tool head in there, uh, the PLA tool head, uh, very similar to the standard uh, box tool head. You notice there is no petcock on the side to control the uh, air airflow. Flow. It'll always be blowing out to the nozzle, so for ABS, not going to happen. Uh, the uh, ABS one still has the petcock on there, so it can be directed to or from. And the uh, TPU based extruder, uh, the flexible based extruder still with the petcock and also having a, uh, a different type of extruder mechanism in here with a spring uh, tension and a different hob gear. So, yep. And then uh, with the new Mini 2 ES, uh, turning it on, uh, they've made a few changes to it. Uh, the Mini 2 ES looking exactly like the Mini 2. Uh, the ES adds in really the important part was the print queue to bring the print queue to the table, allowing users to simultaneously connect to the printer and upload their files. Uh, otherwise, everything inside is uh, the same same type of menu. Uh, the only real difference in terms of uh, user interface is going to be uh, primarily in the, the print button. When, by hitting the print button, it will display all of the prints uh, or jobs that have been uploaded to the printer, uh, whether they have been printed or not already. So it'll show them there, and from that menu, you can delete any of the menus. Uh, uh, <laughs> with, with the X5, with the UP300, you can go down to 50 micron resolution, layer heights, I should probably say. Uh, 50 micron layer height, uh, where the UpMini 2 ES and the UpMini 2 original, they'll go down to a 0.15 resolution, uh, or layer height. Uh, and then on another exciting note, Tier Time, who is the... Uh, Mastermind is behind the Cetus 3D brand. Cetus was released a couple years ago, I believe now, uh, maybe a year and a half, two years ago. And um, it was released on Kickstarter. It was a really interesting hobby-esque uh, type of printer, kit type of printer, that runs with linear rails, uh, still uses an all-metal hot end in here, uh, a tier time quality uh, print controller board in here with Wi-Fi capability. Um, Quite a wonderful little printer, I must say. So there's two models of it. There's the standard, which was with a seven inch, seven inch, seven inch cube build volume. Um, quite a generous build volume for a small printer like this. And then the extended version, which does seven, seven by 11 in the Z. The awesome part about these two printers, a couple awesome points about them really, is historically they have been sold 
directly through the CETA 3D website, and it wasn't available for tier time resellers like us. Um, now, as of the beginning of this year, or as the rapid show, we're now able to carry these as tier time resellers. Um, nice. So, a really good price point. You know, when you look at the previous up Mini 2 being the $599 price point, the Mini 2 ES being at $100 more at $699. Uh, and then historically, the Up Plus 2 was at $799. This puts these as a unique price point of $399 and $499 respectively. Wow. Uh, really, really incredible deals.